Hi, hope you're enjoying your learning on the KWX. Yes, I believe that by now you know what KWX is. You have experimented it yourself and you are very confident on how to na navigate KWX by this time of the program. Yes, so today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can start thinking around your project. You heard stories and experiences from Otto, Maxwell, and also, I mean, a lot of videos, resources, you've read them, and I know that you now have an idea on how you're going to go about your project. But yeah, just as some tips that can help you to navigate that journey. First of all, you need to think about collaboration or partnerships. The past alumni of KWIS have always um, talked to schools, institutions, that they think that the KWIS device will be of benefit to them. So first of all, look at identify schools that you think this device will benefit them. In our experience in Ghana, we realized that some schools, especially like private schools, don't really seem to value um, this because maybe they have internet for their students. We also noticed that for most of the primary schools, they don't they don't seem to have enough devices or some don't even have computers at all. And so most of the target schools has been secondary schools. And for universities, we realized that most universities provide internet in their schools. And so we haven't really explored that. So look at what works for your community and then start engaging in conversations with leaders of these um, institutions. Also, not to put you in a box, KWIS is not just for schools. You can also contact community libraries or community ICT centers. These are very useful places where KWIS can be of benefit to the community. So please find innovative way, find, um, be innovative, be open-minded, find where you think this device can be very useful and then start engaging in conversation. Another very important thing that is you need to think about is what kind of devices they have. Is it compatible, what versions, because I believe that you've learned all of that during your career's journey and then you need to be able to verify all of these so that when you are downloading the content you know how to go about it another thing that we also uh our alumni also experienced was that some of these institutions require letter of introductory and so we have templates of these letters that we will add to the resource session so that in case you want to a template that you can adapt you can always have it and then send it to the school for permission another thing that also we realized that when these uh, volunteers get to the school to implement the care works we realized that it takes a very long time because they are using pen drives to install on each one of the computers and that can take a long time if you want to be able to complete that as well as train the student then you really need to be at the school early but another approach could be that you do the installation on the first day and then you do the training on the second day training of the users of the course is very important because if you just put it on the computer labs the computers in the computer lab and go home what is going to happen is that nobody is going to use it so it's very important to bring the students together and train them because student population are very high in, in some in most of the schools what we've done in the past was to sample students from each class and then these students go on to teach their colleagues in their class and so that that has been a very um uh, useful approach that we adapted in in this in in the training of students um yeah i think that should be it but be innovative be open-minded if you have questions if you have new ideas don't hesitate to contact your mentor